Yo, what is up, cuties? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, I opted to say cuties instead of Stan fam. That's where we're at now. Showing my face means I gotta be a, a new man, you know? But anyways, this video has actually been a long time coming. I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time. Obviously, you can read the title and you can see that I'm going to be reacting to my crash from uh, July or August of last year. Sometime in 2018 in the summertime. And I kind of just wanted to walk you guys through what I was thinking pre-crash and post-crash and i know the camera quality is complete crap right now it's a webcam okay and it's recording at 720p i was gonna use my sony but i realized it'd be much easier filming this video just through streamlabs obs and uh, i can't connect my sony to my computer as a webcam okay because I don't have the Elgato cam link thing. But before we get started, I just wanted to say that this video is sponsored by Yami Noob. As you know, if you saw my last video, he's gonna be giving away three free bikes. And I do wanna mention that this contest is only um, for US residents. But just keep that in mind. And the three bikes you have a chance to win are a Honda CB650R, a Kawasaki Ninja 400, and a Suzuki DRZ400. To enter the contest, just go to yaminoob.co and register. People who register get entries to the free bikes. They get access to perks such as Yaminoob's Discord, where Yaminoob himself hangs out, and exclusive content as well. You can also buy merch from Yaminoob's store if you want to get some extra entries in. Every dollar you spend in the store will be one entry. For this, just go to yaminoobmerch.com. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Let's get to the video. Okay, here we go. So this is the second to last turn just before the crash. You can see a sign there it says 30 kilometers suggested. Oh shit! And boom, right there, I crash. Now, if we go back just a little bit before I start grunting like crazy. So basically at this point right here, my friend Kyle is hitting the brakes. Now, I didn't expect that. This is the first time I've ever been to this turn. It's completely my fault. I'm not blaming him for anything. I should have been more aware. I should have kept more distance between us. And obviously, I should have gone slower because it was my first time going around this corner. Also, if it's one thing you should know about GoPros, they make objects look a lot further than they actually are. I think it's the nature of just being fisheye. My friend Kyle in front of me here is actually a lot closer than it appears. So at this point, my body was already in the motions of making the turn. So I had my head leaning to the left a little bit and I had my body positioning to the left and I didn't expect the brake. So when I saw that, obviously I kind of panicked. I hit the brake as well, but then I was already going so quick. I think my speedo is reading like 91 at this point. So there was really no way of avoiding it. I moved forward here a little bit. Instead of taking the turn, I decided to go wide because I knew, like, look at the distance between us right now. I would probably catch up to him at some point and I would have taken him down with me. So I opted to go wide instead to avoid taking somebody else down with me. Oh, shit. And obviously I think I may have slipped a little bit on the rubble, but I also actually just dumped my bike on purpose because I wanted to be separate from my bike by the time I impacted the, the whatever I was going to hit. So um, this is when I start grunting. So if you guys are fans of heart, you might have some trouble watching this part. People thought I said vodka there. Kind of sounds like I did. But I was actually just saying the F word. So right there you can hear the audio cutting in and out. It's because of the GoPro audio backpack that I was using. It was being so wonky. For some reason it just chose this day of all days to do that. It was working completely fine afterwards. Maybe it's because it got wet or something. I don't know. But anyways, uh, we're going to switch over to my friend Thomas's point of view of him being behind me in the crash. And this is basically his reaction to it. And it's actually pretty interesting. So you can see his distance to me so much further. This is the right thing to do. Okay. Don't follow me. Look how close I am to Kyle in front of me. And... I, tr I think I tried to maybe tried to save it, but I think I knew I was going to fall, so I just kind of dumped my bike there, you can see. <laughs> Apparently he almost dropped his bike Stands there. down, stands down. Oh, stand, chill, chill, chill. He's down in the, in the ditch. Yep. Call, Ricky, call. Oh. Stan, hold on, man. Yeah. So there's my bike. 
Sam, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There's my phone on the ground. Sam, where'd you go? He can hear me Shit. huffing and puffing on the audio. Sam, where are you, bro? Are you, are you in the water, Stan? Okay. Breathing so hard because oh, my, okay, my back's okay. broken, my ribs are broken. Okay. You're okay, you're okay, bro. You're okay. Stay. Take my helmet. Take my helmet off. <sighs> So I was telling him to take my helmet off because I was having just a hard chill, time breathing, but just you chill. should never take off the helmet in a situation like this because you never know what you're the okay, okay, okay. what the Don't what exactly happened to you. Okay. And you're definitely anything, running on adrenaline. Anything hurt? At this point. Like majorly hurt right now? My back. Huh? My back. Your back? Okay. My back. Just Can you take my helmet off? Not yet, dude. Not yet. Not yet. Don't 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 move. Try not to move. Is he, Thomas? Is he like all right? I'm down there with him. Okay. He's okay. His back hurts. That was crazy. Oh, fuck. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that okay, was crazy. Okay. Okay. Ah, there goes my bike. There huh? goes my bike, man. Fuck the bike. Yeah, but... Who cares about I was bike? very sad about you my bike. You got a bike now. Try not to move too much. Just chill in the water. Oh. Yo, is that $100 bet still available? <laughs> I forgot what the bet was about, actually. Maybe something about crashing. Shit. Is your arm okay? I didn't expect Kyle to stop. I know, I know, no. don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Dude, dude, my bag, my bag has all my camera gear, can you please get it out of the water? Dude, it's... Uh, dude, I'm being such a little bitch, I'm not gonna lie. But I really didn't want my camera gear to get wet because I knew my back was against the water and everything was just getting soaked. That's why I did that. Where's but yeah, GoPro? It's not on your chin, bro, I don't know where it is. Yeah, so my GoPro fell off as well. Um, I'm not really sure um, what exactly was going on in the background, but as I can hear it, kind of, I think my friend Ricky was already on the uh, phone with the police. So somebody was coming at this point already. And I think somebody asked him, are they still breathing? So Whew. just chill for now, man. I'm fucking soaked. I don't want you to move too much, man. I need to get out of the water. Look how stubborn slowly, I am. Bro, At slowly, this point, slowly, 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 like slowly. I knew something was fucked up about idea, my man. back, but I did it anyways because I was freezing. I felt like Jack in the the Titanic. That's how okay. I felt. Sit here. Just sit. Just sit. Sit. Bike's off. No, my bike. Don't worry about your bike, dude. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, so um. A couple things you should know when you crash you should never move like I did okay um, Obviously finding out that I broke seven bones on my back looking back at this. This was not the right decision to make definitely not But um, I was being stubborn and that can actually lead to uh, a bigger injury if you do that So you have to be very careful with how you assess the situation whether you are like the bystander of when it happens or if you're in the accident itself just try to stay as completely still as possible now i was obviously being very stubborn because i have never broken a bone in my life so when this happened i couldn't believe i didn't want to believe that i broke any bones which is why i thought maybe just my back just kind of hurt because of the impact obviously but I, I never really thought that i had broken any bones obviously i, I did so let's keep going injuries his back hurts yeah just chill I don't think so. I don't think he's bleeding. I don't think anything's broken. Not too sure yet. <laughs> Definitely broken. Can I call Ariel? So I remember what? I was um, I was on uh, a phone call with Ariel prior to this, just earlier, and we were supposed to be hanging out later that night. So I needed to call her and tell her that I got into a crash. Did you just not see the corner? Or? No, I stuck too close uh. to. Don't move. Don't move. I already moved. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah, that's safe to do. Unzipping the suit, just so you can. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't breathe better. I'm taking the helmet off don't, soon, don't move so. too much. Find his GoPro in the meantime, if you can. I don't know. His no, you're not gonna find it. Where's the GoPro? Levitating on the grass. Like huh? Almost his phone was levitating. I know. On the I saw it. Man, look at that bike. It's so fucked was, up. I... It's it's really hard to say at this point whether or not like me landing in the grass and like the water was a good thing like would it have been better for me to slide and then uh, just naturally stop obviously if, if there was something obstructing the way then that would be bad but i think 
like in a way the grass and the water and just the ditch itself was kind of a good thing i want to say i don't know I've, I've only been in one crash so it's really hard to say what do you guys think i don't know would sliding be better or this situation Yep. Oh, I found his GoPro. And he found it. So uh, now I'm going back to my video here. Is this still recording? I apologize. Yeah. We we color graded it differently. Right. So I'm in a ditch right now. <laughs> uh, my buddy's dog is Dude. up there. This guy still vlogs, man. Fuck. I'm in a lot of pain. You want me to take his injuries? I'm really trying my best to make light of a really bad situation. That's why I did that. Um, I think I'm fine, man. I just, felt the impact. Just don't move, because you, you might have fucked your back, so. Oh, yeah. Definitely did. Ricky already knew. I hope I didn't get to a point where I can't walk anymore. Do you want a photo? Yeah. <laughs> this is the best part. This is the best part right here. I don't know here. if it's going to be good times yet, but okay. <laughs> We're going to take this just in case. <laughs> it's so hey, stupid. Paul, I don't know what we're oh, doing. Man. You're the only guy that, like, crashes into a ravine here and then is more concerned about vlogging i almost went down with you man were you with me Thomas? i was right behind you yeah mm -hmm. but I, I slammed the brakes he almost it. he almost fell oh is it recording yeah so you can already yeah, hear the ambulance yeah. coming <laughs> at this point and um and uh we're kind of gonna switch over here there's there's a couple things that happen in between when one of the times i i'm thankful i'm wearing full gear yeah dude seriously man mm -hmm, mm -hmm. guys if you are a rider please full gear all the time don't slack off on that it's very very important and i know like some people are just so confident that they're never gonna get into a crash and that's how i felt i felt like um i felt like i was invincible like i've been riding at this point for like three years now never been in a crash and i always i was so proud of it i was like i was always telling myself like yeah you never been in a crash but when it happens man it happens and you're gonna regret it if you're not wearing full gear i guarantee you that so Take my advice from a person who's crashed before. So glad you fell not on like concrete and stuff, like, but mm -hmm. like soft, you know. So here, the fire. Okay, firefighters are coming. Firefighters are here now. Yes, he's conscious. What's his injuries right now? So far, his back hurts. I can feel like a sore back. Don't, don't move. Okay. How fast are you traveling? I'm not too sure. <laughs> I knew. 50 to 70. <laughs> 50 to 70. Yeah. How far were you launched? Where's your bike? Right here? Yep, you, right there, yeah, my bike is right there. Into the ditch, or did you were you ejected off your bike? I was ejected, I think. Do you think? Do you remember what happened? I think I was ejected off my bike. Okay. Do you remember anything that happened? Uh, yeah, but in the moment I was thinking like, oh shit, I'm okay. gonna crash. Sandy, down in there, C spine. C spine. Did you say G spine? C spine. So at this point now they're getting ready me to uh, assess me once I go down there and um, lift me up afterwards. Very interesting how they do this. So Thomas is stepping on my bike, the disrespect. Okay, so that's already fast forwarded. So we're actually gonna go towards this raw footage now after the crash. The audio is gonna cut out, guaranteed. Yeah. But it might be okay. So he was asking Thomas if he was okay. Nice to meet you, Kirkland. Stanley. Stanley? Yeah. Okay. What what hurts? Do you remember anything that happened? I remember the whole thing. You remember yeah. the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. You what uh walk me through the steps of what happened. I was taking that, that turn over there. I'm not too sure how fast I was going. My my buddies were saying around fifty, seventy. And uh I guess I, I trailed a little bit too close to the guy in front of me, so uh I took a wide turn, ended up in the ditch. Okay. And uh I just felt at some point like a piercing pain on my back, but um, yeah. I just feel sore right now. Okay, where do you feel sore? Uh, like mid to lower back. Mid to lower back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, so this is all the stuff that you guys have uh, not seen in my video. N my head doesn't hurt. My neck doesn't hurt. Neck doesn't hurt. Nothing else hurts except my lower back. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing with the grass right now. Because what else can I do, right? <laughs> so he's feeling my back right now. 
seeing if I can feel everything at the uh, very right, least. That, that, that last one you did. This one? Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit lower. When you pushed a little bit harder, I felt a little bit. Okay. It doesn't hurt that much, though. No? Okay. Actually, uh, maybe like the upper back a little bit, too. Your shoulder blades? Um, yeah, just in between. No. Between my shoulder blades, I think. Okay. My entire back hurt, for sure. I think. I don't know. I, I can feel it, but... Okay. How old are you? 27. 27. Well, turning 20, 27. almost 27. 26 right now. <laughs> I forgot my own age. Fun fact, I'm actually 28 today when I record this video. December 16th, my birthday. Thank you guys for the happy birthday wishes. Happy birthday down in the comments below. And also like the video for my birthday present. Thanks. So right now he's yeah, feeling like my legs to see if I still have feeling in them. Nothing. He's feeling towards nope. like my ankles now. Yep, I'm wiggling him right now. I'm gonna come down here. Down here. Nothing. Okay, wiggle this foot for me. Perfect. Okay, give my hand a squeeze. Okay. Give this hand a squeeze. Perfect. It's always so reassuring to me when I can do the things that he's telling me to do. Because then I know that I'm still functioning somewhat properly. So right here, uh, you can already hear the audio is just all static. I don't know why it cut out. Um, it cuts out for a couple minutes and then it cuts back in. I have no idea why. It's, it's really quite upsetting because I made I made quite a bit of jokes as uh, the paramedics or firefighters were uh, coming down to see me. So you came in here. Once you hit the ground. So audio's back now. Do you have any recollection of how you got here? Do you remember how you got here? Uh, I, well, I got launched here. Yeah. That's for sure. I think I was still on my bike, okay. and uh, I don't know. I might have high sided on the bike. Okay. Went over the handlebars. No, I don't think I. No, I definitely. Apparently, didn't. my bike hit the uh, the pole, or that's what they were saying. I can't tell. You just missed the pole. Maybe. I definitely just missed the pole. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling now? How's your head? Uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. How's I'm all your here. Chest? Your chest through here. Uh, when you do that, I can just kind of feel my back. But yeah, that's that's because it's pushing yeah, against the move, ground. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's another thing. Just let them do all the work. Okay, sounds good. So let's just fast forward a little bit here. Five ten. They're asking how tall I am. How tall Five ten. Audio cuts out again, but the paramedics are here now, and they're bringing down the stretcher to help lift me up. And then at some point, the audio just cuts back in, I think. Either that or it just doesn't come back. So right now, um, they're taking off my helmet, and they don't, they don't really, they didn't really know how to do it as, as quick as they should have. So <laughs> uh, luckily for my helmet, they have a quick release function, so you just have to pull a couple tabs and all the padding comes out. So if you guys can ever uh, choose a helmet, definitely choose one like that. That would save you so much time and save them so much effort as well. It's actually a great invention. At some point, they finally get my helmet off. There it is. And that, sadly, is the end of the video because they actually wanted me to not record that stuff. And then when I got onto the ambulance, the guy was asking me, Hey, um, did you have footage of us um, picking you up? And they wanted me to delete it initially but i was like oh no 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 like um there's no way i can view it there's no way i can i can tell if it was recording so um luckily the person who shut off my gopro was separate was different than the person that was on the back of the ambulance with me so i could tell two different stories because there's no way i wanted to delete this video like I, I needed this video i needed needed the views you know but yeah that was the end of the video for that and basically once i got on the ambulance it was a very very interesting trip to um, the hospital the paramedic initially wanted to cut my entire suit off okay he had like scissors ready he was just gonna cut down the whole thing so that he can get the suit off me because I was getting really really cold but I persisted I was like no there's no way in hell that we are going to be cutting my suit I can shimmy this off I promise you I was being really stubborn and I just kept telling him no 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 don't cut it don't cut it don't cut it and eventually we were able to uh, shimmy it off Granted, it did kind of hurt a little bit and it wasn't the smartest thing for me to do, but I wanted to preserve my suit. I wanted to have it as a memento at the very least in case I wasn't able to wear it anymore. I was able to wear it, luckily, so I still wear it to this day. So it's actually a really cool suit to wear. It still looks really good and now it has battle scars, so that's a plus. But yeah, that was um, 
me reacting to my crash video and kind of explaining uh, the thought process between everything was going on. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record my trip to the hospital. I really wanted to. I had my helmet in the ambulance right beside me. I had the GoPro with me, but the guy I know for sure would have not wanted me to record. But basically that was um, how the trip went from ambulance or from, from crash site to hospital. And obviously at the end of the day, if you watch my original video of my crash, I broke four vertebrae and three ribs. So seven broken bones along my back. And um, I think within like a week, I was out of the hospital and they, they, they deemed it as um, more minor fractures. So I was very, very fortunate to um, come out of this whole thing, this whole ordeal alive and uh, I can definitely thank my gear for that I didn't have any wounds or anything like that I was sore in certain places I think my left leg was sore or something like that but like I came out alive and that's really all that mattered and I came out in one piece but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you are here until the end then um, I have a surprise for you actually obviously you all have Instagram so make sure you follow my hedgehog at full throttle hedgehog he is the cutest thing ever. Look at him. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.